Guys, it's time to play Fortnite. Wait there, llama garlic bread, bring her from the dead. Joe, what on earth did you just say? Who is user? I was using my powers to summon our teammate. Summon our teammate? Wait, this is just like the time you summoned JFK. Did you summon him again? No, I tried to, but he told me to get lost. Who did you summon? My fellow gamers, it appears that I've been summoned from the beyond by our dear friend Joe. You invited Queen Elizabeth? Who has enlisted my help in achieving a great victory royale. Now, to my dear Donald, I must implore you to refrain from throwing a tantrum when I carry the team. And to you, Barack Obama, I have to say, what on earth is that weird character you have chosen? Are you trying to intimidate the competition with your questionable fashion choices? And President Biden, my dear boy, I must admit that my knowledge of Fortnite is quite limited, but I promise to do my best to contribute to our cause. And I assure you, I will not hesitate to call out your questionable gameplay strategies. I have watched from the afterlife, and it is known that your gameplay is, as one would say, noob gameplay. Let us unite our strengths and forge ahead with determination and a dash of humor. Who knows? Perhaps we may even make history with this grand achievement. Your Majesty, I, how is everything? It is an honor to play with you. Oh, I'm simply splendid, Barak. In fact, I now rule the afterlife. Lizzie, you rule heaven? That is some true gangster shit. My dear Donald, I never mentioned heaven. Wait, that means, no, surely not. Yeah, I now rule hell. The devil took one look at me and cowered at my feet and told me that us politicians are one evil that he could never compete with. Will all of us be going to hell? Yes, but Joe Biden will not. He will be going to limbo, forever wandering around, confused and not knowing what he is doing. So nothing will change for Joe? Ha 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 ha. Okay, let's concentrate on getting a victory royale. I have no idea what you were talking about. I am Superman. I once cosplayed as Superman and started picking up all the children and telling them that I would save them from their parents. They all got restraining orders on me. That wasn't very super of them. Joe, emote with me. Yes, Your Majesty. Wow, it made fireworks. I say we just dive down straight away. I will set the marker. Joe, no rushing people, understand? Calm down, my amigo. I never rush people, they rush me. Lizzie, do you remember that time on the cruise ship? Donnie, how could I forget? You were the captain and were so bossy to everyone. Good times. Lizzie, Donnie, were you guys good friends? You could say that we were competitors on who could fire the most members of staff and ruin the most lives. It was a close one, but Donald won. Lizzie, you are too kind. I was tremendous at firing people, though. Do you remember when I fired that single mother and she started crying? Oh, man, that was some hardcore firing. Hmm, but do you remember when I knocked you out at the boxing match? I tell you what, KSI and other boxing wannabes could learn a thing or two from us. Wait, you fired people for fun? Donald, Elizabeth, that is naughty. Santa will definitely put you on the naughty list for that. That is Queen Elizabeth to you. And I wouldn't worry about Santa. I knocked that fat ass out. Liar, he is too good to be knocked out. What is wrong with you? Joe, stop arguing with the dead. Or do you want to get canceled? Med kits are good. I wish they were real. Uh, Joe, medical kits are real. They don't heal you instantly, but they have medical supplies in. Wait, don't you have med kits in the White House? I made sure most rooms had access to one. I think Putin took them away and gave me food, which made my head feel woozy and gave me a painful cough. I think his seasoning is a bit strong. Russia, they rigged the election. I should have won. Uh, I am down. Shut up, Joe. You made me get down. Donald, it is up to you. Revive me first. Fuck you, Obama. Don't tell me what to do. Crawl to me, Sleepy Joe. I will revive you. Joe, why did you move? You were fucking looting. That's it. Put me down, Donald. What are you doing? I needed the ODM gear because I love Attack on Titan. Thanks, Donald. I did tell you to revive me first. Hey, <laughs> I am looking at Superman's butt. So toned. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Hey, <laughs> so funny. Can someone please revive him? 
One is not amused at looking at Superman's buttocks. Thank you, Obama. Now I will protect you with my superpowers. All the bad guys will fear the wrath of Super Biden. Poem time. Jumped into Fortnite with Obama and Trump. Our teamwork was great. We killed with a thump. The queen joined in and we all said hi. She put on her headset and let out a sigh. We landed together. It was quite a sight, but Obama got lost. He had no might. Trump built a tower. He was quite the man, but we had to save him. He didn't have a plan. The queen was a natural. She led the way. She killed with precision. No one could sway. We danced and we laughed. It was quite the sight. But then came the storm. We had to take flight. With one last push, we made it through. Victory Royale, we knew what to do. We cheered and we clapped. It was such a thrill. But then the queen said, I have to go do Netflix and chill. We said our goodbyes. It was such a delight playing Fortnite with this unlikely sight. We promised to play again, just me and my crew. But who knows who will join, maybe even Pikachu. President Biden, that was fucking shit, so dreadful. Ahem. Let me show you a true poem. Don't forget, Shakespeare is from Britain. Oh, how delightful it was to play Fortnite with Donald on a sunny day. We landed in the fields with our weapons drawn and took down peasants until the break of dawn. With every shot and every kill, our victory was sure we had the skill. No one could stop us, no one could contend. We were the rulers until the bitter end. The peasants trembled at our feet. As we danced and laughed, it was quite a feat. We ruled the land, we were the kings, and with every win our glory sings. Oh, how sweet it is to reign supreme, to fulfill our fortnight dreams. With Donald by my side, we'll take the crown and show those peasants we're the best around. So let us play and let us win. Our reign will never come to an end, for we are the champions of Fortnite, and no one can stop us, try as they might. Lizzie, that was great, tremendous. So much better than Sleepy Joe's poems. I think they were both terrible poems. Treason, that is motherfucking treason. Barack Obama, you dare say such a thing to me? Barack, no poem is terrible. It is an art, and art is subjective to each person. President Biden, you are wrong. Your poem is terrible. Ha! Sticks and stone may break my chicken, but words will never roast my ham. Your words don't affect me. That isn't the saying, Joe. Oh, what the heck. Can we all just concentrate on winning? Joe, you should give the thunder spears to me or Donald. You are not good with them. Funny you say that. You see, I now have the true power of anime on my side. I have the anime sword and the thunder spears. I thought they were ODM gear. I thought it was strange that I couldn't swing around. I just blamed it on my hips. I have seen a hippo, but I hear they're dangerous. Hmm. Joe, you are talking gibberish. Again, give me the pizza and get your head in the game. Get your head in the game is from High School Musical. I once made the kids in my basement reenact the musical. So funny. Didn't ask. Also, get ratioed. Now drop the fucking pizza. If you want it, you have to chase me. <laughs> Just joking. Here you go, buckaroo. Joe, I was wondering, if you can summon the dead, who else can you summon? I can summon most people. They just have to be someone I have smelt. That is why I smell people. So I can bring them back to play games and talk to their loved ones. How did you bring back JFK? Surely you never sniffed him. Don't forget, he died in 1963, when I was 21-year-old political science major at the University of Delaware. I met him before his death and I sniffed him real good. That is how I brought him back to play Call of Duty with us. I blew you a good luck kiss, Queen Elizabeth, just like the time when we were smelling each other. Joe, why are you running like that? I am running like a Titan from Attack on Titan. They are scary, but they are goofy. They actually base the running and how I run. Guys, I know I already gave you a poem, but, uh, but I spent a long time writing this poem. It is about my mental health. With every game, my worries fade. As I play with you, my spirits are raised. In this virtual world, I forget my strife and just enjoy the thrill of life. Playing with you all has been such a joy. It's helped me through moments that were tough to deploy. With every victory and every defeat, I've found a sense of peace that's been hard to beat. 
In this world, we all come together, regardless of politics or any other tether. We play and laugh and have a blast. And for a moment, all our troubles seem to pass. So I just want to say, from the bottom of my heart, thank you for being there and playing your part. In this silly game, we found a sense of kin. And for that, I'll always have a grin. That was really wholesome. I feel absolutely disgusted. I'm flying ahead. I will protect us. So whilst Joe Biden rushes ahead and dies, I heard that there was a new Star Wars game out. Did you like it? After playing Star Wars Jedi Survivor, I saw some scary things, folks. I couldn't shake this feeling that something was watching me, even after I turned off the game. And then, when I closed my eyes, I saw a shadowy figure of a Sith Lord staring back at me. It was like the game had come to life in my mind. I don't know about you guys, but that was some next level immersion that I wasn't expecting. I think the game is mid, but then again, you didn't let me have a long turn. Like, check out the video you uploaded. I didn't get a good turn on the game. I wish you brought me to play that game. I once owned a lightsaber. I would hunt protesters with it. I always wanted a blue one, but every time I went near one, it would turn red. Strange, right? Sasageyo, Sasageyo. Shinzu wo Sasageyo. Subete no gise wa ima kono toki no tamini Sasageyo. Sasageyo, Shinzu wo Sasageyo. Sorry, guys, I thought my mic was muted. I was singing the Attack on Titan intro. Joe didn't ask? Guys, uh, I'm now Clark Kent. That is Superman's alter ego. I once cosplayed as Clark Kent after getting those restraining orders, but the parents somehow saw through the disguise. They must have had prep time just like Batman. You are so strange, Sleepy Joe. It even sounded like you were struggling to talk. I watched some of your latest interviews, and it made me laugh. That isn't good. Laughter is always good, my orange friend. I open in the thingy majiggy, do hickey thing. Come get your loot. You motherfuckers better have not left me with the shit loot. I am the queen and it is treason if you don't at least leave me with an epic rank gun. Leave the terrible guns for President Biden. Guys, uh, I have a secret. I'm not who you think I am. I'm no simple journalist. I'm Superman. Ha 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 ha. Did you see the transition? Now that is a bombastic transition. Joe, stop ditching us. You are going to get yourself killed. Don't worry. They will need kryptonite bullets to harm me. Ha 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 ha. I am Superman. Uh, help me. They are killing me. For fuck's sake, this all your fault, Joe. Why did you rush them, you fucking idiot? Ah! Great, now I smashed my controller. No, I'm downed. They shot me with kryptonite. Superman cried out in agony as he fell to the ground. His eyes were weak and his strength was drained as the green glowing substance coursed through his veins. He struggled to get back up to fight off the attackers, but he knew that he was vulnerable and weak in this state. He could only hope that his allies would come to his aid and that he could recover from this deadly blow. For now, he lay helpless at the mercy of his enemies and the power of the kryptonite that threatened his very existence. What the hell is this fucking role-playing bullshit? I am the last one standing. One is not amused. I'm going to die again. Lizzie. You did your best, and that is what matters. It is Joe's fault that we fucking died. He was role-playing as Superman. Yeah, Donald is right. Queen Elizabeth, don't revive Joe. It, he doesn't deserve to be revived. Great, Scott. They're not going to aid Superman. They must be under the control of an evil force. Lex Luthor. I should have known. Anyway, this is the end of the video. Thanks for watching. It means a lot to us. If you want a certain celebrity or character to feature in a future episode, comment below and tell us. We will try our best. Also, if you haven't already, why not subscribe? It means a lot. Anyway, I hope you have a great day, and remember not to let people treat you like shit. You deserve happiness, except if your name is Josh.
Guys, it, it May 4th, it is Star Wars Day. I'm so excited to play the Star Wars event on Fortnite. Guys, I'm wearing my Jedi robes and I am ready to get a victory royale. Sleepy Joe, the force is weak in you. The only thing you will be getting is a massive L. You never win. You're always making us lose. I, on the other hand, am a trained Jedi master and I beat a 12 year old at a lightsaber fight. You say it like you are proud of beating a 12 year old. I would not be bragging about that, Donald. Obama, you have no idea who that 12 year old was. He called me a fatty and said, I look like Jabba the Hutt. His name is Hayden, and I used the CIA to find out that he is a furry. I outed him after donking him on the head with my blue lightsaber. It is a shame that it wasn't a real lightsaber. I was so tremendous, so great. If you put a lightsaber in the freezer, would it taste like a popsicle? Sleepy Joe, I have no idea how to respond to that. Wait, why don't we ever play build mode? I hate zero build. Donald, how many times do we have to discuss this? Every single time we play build mode, you waste your resources building walls. And Joe is not good at build mode. Joe is not good at any mode. I don't see what the problem is with building walls. Guys, I wish Anakin Skywalker never became Darth Vader. Spoiler alert, Jesus, Joe! What, what are you talking about? Everyone and their pet seagull has seen Star Wars. Who the heck has a pet seagull? Guys, shut up and concentrate on the game. I'm on the rails. We. I love Fortnite. Ouch! I was jumping up and down in joy and I just pulled a muscle. Ouch! Sleepy Joe, that is karma for being annoying. I never ever pull a muscle. In fact, I prefer to say a muscle pulled me. I am tremendous. Donald, that makes no sense. You are speaking gibberish. Are you becoming Joe Biden the second? <laughs> what even is your laugh? Oh my God, Obama. <laughs> you tried to mock me and have a laugh like that? Guys, if you were transported to the Star Wars world, what do you think you would do? Well, Joe, I think the first thing I would do is find a cantina and grab a drink. I hear they have some great bars on Tatooine. Then I would try to find the Rebel Alliance and join the fight against the Empire. Maybe I could use my diplomacy skills to negotiate a peace treaty with the Sith Lord. Obama's answer is dumb. If I were in the Star Wars world, I would be the best Jedi ever. I'd have the biggest lightsaber, the strongest force powers, and the best starship in the galaxy. I'd take on Darth Vader and win, and then I'd use my business skills to take over the entire galaxy. I'd build a wall around the Death Star and make the rebels pay for it. That's not exactly how the force works, Donald. I don't think you could be better than Darth Vader, but I like your enthusiasm. Obama, don't patronize me. Hey, I know how to win, okay? I'm a winner. I'm the best at winning. That's why Joe is president. How dare you? That's it. If you get downed, I am not reviving you. Joe? Oh my god, I thought you were going to die. So soon in the match, too. So terrible. Joe Biden waits patiently. He wonders why his best friends in the whole world have not asked him what he would do in the Star Wars world. He takes a sip out of his limited edition My Little Pony Sippy Cup and waits patiently. What the fuck? Joe. Why are you talking in third person? Are you feeling all right? Hmm. Okay, Joe, if you were in the Star Wars world, what would you do? You know, if Joe Biden was transported to the Star Wars world, he would definitely want to cuddle some of those cute creatures. First on his list would be Grogu, or as he likes to call him, Baby Yoda. He's just so adorable with those big eyes and little hands. Joe can just imagine snuggling up with him and feeling all warm and fuzzy inside. But that's not all. Joe would also love to cuddle some Ewoks. Those little furry guys are just too cute for words. He can imagine picking one up and giving it a big bear hug, feeling its little heart beating against his chest. And who knows, maybe they could even have a little dance party like in Return of the Jedi. Joe's got some moves, you know. And let's not forget about Chewbacca. Joe's pretty sure he would want to cuddle him until he gets a restraining order. Joe Biden would then cosplay as Padme Amidala and seduce Darth Vader. Then they would settle down and become Jedi fishermen and catch cute fishies. Overall, Joe's cuddle tour of the Star Wars universe would be a pretty wild ride. From Grogu to Ewoks to Porgs, he's ready to embrace all the cuteness the galaxy has to offer. And who knows, maybe he could even start a cuddle revolution, bringing peace and snuggles to all the creatures of the Star Wars universe. Joe, what the actual fuck? If you talk in third person, then I am leaving the game and blocking you. You change your mind and continue playing with Joe Biden? What the, wait. You just tried to use a Jedi mind trick on me. What the hell? Hmm. It seems my power didn't work on you. 
Maybe you are not smart enough to be mind tricked. I am smart enough to be mind tricked. Wait, no, it isn't real. You're more annoying than that furry kid named Hayden who I beat up with a lightsaber. You are both giving me a headache. I knew I should have played a duo with Keanu Reeves instead. I can't believe I said no. Wait, he is offline though. Yeah, Keanu Reeves is offline. Nope, guys, don't freak out. But Keanu Reeves told me he blocked you both because you both freaked him out when we last played Fortnite with him. Sorry. What? He, he wouldn't? No, I was his best friend. Joe Biden stands in the White House, tears pouring down his face. He falls to the floor in anguish. No! He cries out, Keanu, I thought we were friends. Joe weeps and realizes that he shouldn't have been spying on Obama's Discord calls and make Keanu Reeves lightsaber fan art. Joe, did you just say that you were spying on my Discord calls? Yeah, but I only did it because I wanted to hear your genuine thoughts on my fan fiction and Overwatch fan art. Joe, that is a breach of my privacy. What the fuck? Sorry, Barack, but think of it this way. You are never alone. I'm always listening to you. I'm always with you. How the fuck does that make it any better? Joe, stop spying on my Discord calls. Fine, but first you need to look at my Keanu Reeves fan art that I made. I heard him ask you to play with him, so I stayed up all night making fan art of Keanu Reeves with a lightsaber. Tell me which one looks best. I think they all look equally good. Joe, your fan art is okay. Sleepy Joe, did you show Obama the picture of our Star Wars party from last year? What party? Oh, the romantic dance one. That was a fun party, but I don't think we should show Barack the picture. He will be angry. Guys, why would I be angry? What could you have possibly done that would make me angry? I won the dance competition. Me and my dance partner won the romantic dance competition. Okay, so Melania can dance. That doesn't bother me. I didn't dance with Melania, but the lady's name did begin with M. Wait, no, that is not possible. Surely not, wait. Michelle, you fucking better not have. Joe, where are you? We are being shot and you stole my car. Joe Biden will be with you shortly. He is currently speaking to an old friend. He is learning something of great interest. I am down. Joe, for fuck's sake, Obama, do not let me die. I hate you, Joe. Joe Biden gets into his car. He's going to save his orange best friend and secure a victory royale. That is the way of the Jedi. Donald, stay hidden. Joe, hurry up and get to us. Do not worry, guys. I am here now. I will take them on. Ra! Force push! Ha 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 ha! I am the ultimate Jedi. Whoops, my force push broke a tree. Greta Thunberg will not be happy. Guys, one of them is attempting to flee. I will chase them down and defeat them. Donald, are you injured? If anything happened to you, I would be devastated. Maybe I would even join the dark side. Shut the fuck up, you role player. If it wasn't for Obama, I would be spectating you. How the fuck have you got a lightsaber and how the fuck have you got force push? That is not fair. I am the Jedi master and I should have the lightsaber. Sorry, buckaroo, but life isn't fair. Joe, you just pushed them away from me. I was gonna kill them. Murder is not the Jedi way, Barack. Calm down and release their spirits from their bodies. That is Jedi way. How is that any different from murder? Why am I even asking you this? You are too far gone to see reason. Poem time. In the world of Fortnite, a battle was brewing between three leaders, each with their own doing. Joe had a green lightsaber held tight in his hand, ready to save the day, just like Anakin Skywalker had planned. Donald was boasting about his Fortnite skills while Obama was strategizing, keeping his thrills. 
But Joe was the one who had the force on his side. He was ready to play with his team by his side. As they jumped out of the battle bus, the fight was on. Bullets were flying and swords were drawn. But Joe was quick with his lightsaber, striking down any foe, making his way through the map with his three-man squad in tow. Donald was all talk, shooting wildly with his gun. While Obama was taking cover, trying not to be undone, but Joe was the hero, the one with the force. And he was determined to win, of course. As the final showdown approached, Joe was ready. He had his lightsaber in hand, held steady. The last enemy fell, and Joe let out a cheer. He had saved the day, just like Anakin Skywalker, without any fear. And as they celebrated their victory, Joe couldn't help but grin, for he knew that he had won with the Force as his kin. So if you ever find yourself playing Fortnite with Joe, just know that he's the hero, the one with the Force in tow. Your poem was terrible. Mine is better. I'm better with the Force. I run this place. I don't need a lightsaber. I will punch you in the face. Be careful around me, or you might get beat. Don't be like Sleepy Joe, always sniffing feet. I do not sniff feet. I sniff faces. There are only a few people left. Guys, we might be able to win this. I honestly expected both of you to be dead by now. Donald, you tend to play better when you are on the art hoax account. Well done, buddy. Shut up, Obama. Shit, Joe, get to us. We are being shot by loads of people. No, guys, it's up to you two. Fuck, no! Joe, you better fucking revive me! Joe, why did you throw me? Joe, heal Donald with the med mist. He healed himself. What the fuck, Joe? I'm blocking you. Oh my god, so bad. We have 100% lost. Guys, calm down. I'm one with the force, and the force is with me. I will win it. I can feel it. Joe, just die in the storm. You can't win. You're the worst player on the team. Joe, why are you doing the stupid run? Oh my god, you are so bad. Donald is right. Two V one. I like my chances. Guys, would you rather kiss a squirrel or a fox? I was thinking about it the other day and I just could not decide. Mm. Why the fuck are you talking about kissing a squirrel? You might be able to win if you fucking concentrate. Joe, stop hiding. Listen, I have a plan. I'm going to wait for the storm to get closer. Then I'm going to strike them both down. It is all part of my plan. That sounds like a stupid plan. Why are you marking the enemy? We are dead. It is your fault that we are dead. I marked the enemy because I wanted to make sure you were still watching me. You are about to witness a true Jedi in action. Donald, before you respond with anger, just know that I accept your mean words as words of encouragement. You are my orange best friend. You are mean, but I like to call you spicy. Joe, you clever son of a bitch. I know exactly what you are doing. I think you are weird. 
But there is a genius hiding behind the wackiness. Wait, I am confused. Wow, I sound like Joe. What's he trying to do? Donald, think about it. The longer Joe waits, the shorter the circle gets and the more damage it does. Joe is going to try force push them into the storm. They will die to the storm. Wow, Joe, that might just work. It is a good plan, but Joe is not a good player. This could end with a victory or a loss. Hmm. Joe, can you hear us? I can hear you, Barack, but I gotta say, I don't appreciate you stealing my candy floss. What the fuck? It is time. He did it. He killed one in the storm. Yes! That is how you fucking do it. Joe, you were pretty incredible. Well done, Joe. That was some smart thinking. Hey, the thing is, I just wanted to make them go flying with the force. It is funny when they get pushed. Anyway, this is the end of the video. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, then please like it and leave a comment on your favorite part. Also, please subscribe. It helps a lot. Whilst you are subscribing, take a look at Joe's terrible fan art. I don't think my art is terrible. Look at these and let me know which one is your favorite. Thanks for watching and happy Star Wars Day. May 4th be with you. Hey, <laughs> hey. Guys, I think I have been hacked. I had lots of V-Bucks, but now it is all gone. Donald, what do you think happened to Joe's V-Bucks? I have no idea. Maybe it was China? Donald, tell Joe the truth. Do you know what? No, I will show the video to him. What are you guys saying? Wait, what video? Joe, Donald hacked into your account and spent your money on V-Bucks. He then bought a skin and gifted it to himself. He bought himself a furry skin. He even recorded himself buying it and sent the video to me. Donald, why? I would have bought you the skin if you asked nicely. Why would you hack me? Because you said I had no riz. Plus, I wouldn't really call it hacking. Your password was literally Joe Biden 123. Well, that is because that's the only numbers I know really well. OK. Donald, you owe Joe V bucks, but we can sort that out another time. Joe, didn't you say you had presidential meetings today? I thought you couldn't play. I know. That's why I asked Selena Gomez to play on my Xbox whilst I do my meetings. Wait, Selena? Is she even good at the game? Do kangaroos like hockey? I, I do not even know if that was meant to be a yes or a no. Sleepy Joe, hurry up and do your meetings so we can get a victory royale without you. Fine, I'm going to get Selena. Selena, it is time to play Fortnite. Hurry up. Don't shout at Selena Gomez. What the hell, Joe? Uh, why did you slap me? Hi, How'd guys. You... Sorry I'm late. Just had to deal with something. Joe has told me to play with you on Fortnite. Go on build mode. I want to fight the sweaty players. Hello, Selena. We rarely play build mode because Donald goes overboard with the walls, but I guess I am outvoted as Donald will most likely want build mode. Yes, Selena, we finally get to play build mode. I am going to build so many walls. Donald, I have to ask you, why are you so obsessed with walls? Oh, Selena, you wouldn't believe it. It all started when I was a kid. You see, I used to have this pet hamster named Mr. Wiggles. And one day, Mr. Wiggles escaped from his cage and got into the walls of my house. I spent hours trying to get him out, but he was just too fast. I'm sorry, but I don't see how that's related to your wall obsession. That's because you just interrupted my story, Obama. Some people are so rude. Anyway, where was I? Oh, yes, Mr. Wiggles. Well, after he escaped and most likely ran away into the neighborhood, I realized the importance of walls. If I had a wall around my house, Mr. Wiggles would have never escaped. Uh, I don't think that's how it works, Donald. Trust me, Selena. 
Walls are the solution to all our problems. Plus, they make great photo ops. What the hell? Joe isn't doing meetings. He is uploading TikToks. Look at this. The Muffin Man, the Muffin Man. And it's all true. What the actual fuck did I just watch? The Muffin Man? Joe is so strange. I think it is funny. I feel bad for slapping him earlier, but he not only shouted at me, but he started doing the take the L dance to me. If someone did that dance to me, I would uppercut them to Mars. Speaking of Mars, do you think Elon Musk will actually take us to Mars? Hmm, not sure, maybe, but I think we should focus on Earth more. We need to save the planet. Jeez. You can tell you hang around with Greta Thunberg and her hippie friends. Shut up, Donald. You can't judge anyone for their friend group. You literally have a furry account for Fortnite. I prefer playing with you when you are on your art hoax account. I am not a furry, shut up. I literally have pictures of you dressed up in a fur suit. You went to a furry convention. Oh, that is the howl of a Trump supporter. That is what the furry people told me. I only went to the furry convention because I was trying to get voters from a diverse group of people. I thought Joe was the weird one of your friend group. Anyway, guys, let's get a victory royale. Selena, I am not weird. I am unique. I am brilliant. I am the best. Best at losing the presidency to Joe Biden. Shut the fuck up, Obama. You think you are so cool, but you have ligma. What's ligma? Donald, don't do it. Ligma balls. Ha ha ha. Selena, you fell for it. So easy. You're so dumb. Oh, wait. Sorry, I'm so used to calling Sleepy Joe dumb. Sorry, Selena, but you did fall for it. That must be the weirdest way a guy has asked me out. Donald, I never thought you would be a simp. You probably bought Belle Delphine's bathwater, too. Wait, what? No, I'm not a simp. You are a simp. Shit, I'm being shot at. Didn't ask. Donald, are you seriously sulking because Selena actually had to come back to your Ligma joke? Wow. Grow up. I'm Obama and I'm a white knight. Gamer girl lover. Donald, is that the ODM gear from Attack on Titan? Did someone say Attack on Titan? Oh my god, I love that anime so much. Shut up, Sleepy Joe. I am building walls right now. Shouldn't you be focusing on your presidential matters, the And Selena, yes, it is the ODM gear. Do you like my wall? It is great, isn't it? Your wall is brilliant, Donald. I thought you would like Attack on Titan because it has huge walls. Selena, sadly, Donald doesn't like Attack on Titan or any anime. He says it is for children. Hold up, Sleepy Joe. I will let you know that I actually watched all of Attack on Titan. Who can't resist a well-built wall that keeps out hostile enemies? I got to say, it isn't bad at all. Donald, you have made me so happy. Now we can go to anime conventions together. Yay! Best day ever! Calm down, Sleepy Joe. I will not be going to any anime convention. Yeah, because he will be too busy going to his furry conventions. Guys, I am thinking of making a new song. I'm going to call it a victory royale of my heart. I have a cold, so it won't sound good, but I would love your feedback. I'm playing with the president. I'm playing with the president. A victory royale of my heart. Uh, 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 uh. And I'm playing with the presidents Donald Trump, Barack Obama, Joe Biden As for the ultimate squad I'm playing with the presidents I'm playing with the president A victory royal of my heart A victory royal of the heart I think it would be good if you mentioned the Muffin Man Shut up, Sleepy Joe. Selena, it was okay. But I am no singer. I am tremendous at singing, but I prefer being a Giga Chad. Donald, never refer to yourself as a Giga Chad. Oh, and Selena, it was good. I love the tune you were making. Thanks, guys. Appreciate the feedback. No problemo, sister, from another mister. Selena, why did you shoot them? What the hell? I'm more of a dog person, sorry. Selena, that is a friendly NPC. I hired her. Guys, I have been working on a poem. Here it goes. Barack, Selena, and Trump in Fortnite they played, building forts, shooting guns, and strategies made. Barack, with his cool and calm demeanor, focused on winning and making Trump seem leaner. Selena, with her quick reflexes and deadly aim, 
was the one who put their enemies to shame. Trump, obsessed with walls, built them high and wide and often got distracted, leaving the team to slide. But in the midst of their battle, a strange sight was seen, Joe Biden being chased by a gingerbread man, so mean. He ran for his life through fields of sugar and spice until he finally found refuge in a place that was quite nice. And though Joe couldn't join in on the virtual fight, Barack, Selena, and Trump played on well into the night. Their skills, not the best, but their bond, something more. In Fortnite, they found a place where they could truly explore. They laughed and joked and rhymed with ease. Their gaming world, a place where they could be at peace. Barack, Selena, and Trump, a team that was quite a sight, playing Fortnite and having fun well into the night. Joe, yeah, that was definitely unique. Well done, but why do you write poems? I write poetry, Selena, because it's the closest thing I know to magic. Joe, how many times do we need to tell you? You are not a wizard who didn't receive their Hogwarts letter? No, I don't think he means it that way. Joe, explain more to us, please. Poetry has a way of speaking to us, of touching something inside of us that we didn't even know was there. I think music also goes with this. Selena, you probably understand what I'm talking about. It reminds us of our shared humanity, our struggles and triumphs, our hopes and fears. And when we connect with each other on that level, we're capable of incredible things. Didn't ask, get ratioed. Donald, that was rude. Selena, he got me fired from McDonald's so I can be rude to him all I like. Wait, what? You worked at McDonald's? All three of us worked there last month. Joe got us fired for fighting an old lady. What the heck, Joe, you attacked an old lady? It was not a lady, it was a clown. I told the clown that they were not allowed in the restaurant as Ronald McDonald is the only clown allowed. The clown then uppercutted me and started moaning about the broken ice cream machine. That's when I released my inner anime martial arts powers. It was all a blur after that. Nope, it was only a blur because you got knocked the fuck out. Listen, we might actually win this. Selena, would you ever consider becoming part of our esports team? We are going to be called Trump and Friends. The fuck we are. Donald, I think we should be called the presidential powerhouses. It nods to the fact that all three of us have held the highest office in the United States and suggests a sense of strength and dominance, uh, which is fitting for an esports team. Donald, I have to say no for now. Sorry. Wait, Obama, do you need help? Nope, I got this shit. Nearly got down. I'm getting rusty. If I keep performing this bad, I will be on the same skill level as Donald. Fuck you, Obama. I am better than you at Fortnite. You are worse than Joe. Do you guys want to hear a funny fart joke? No, we do not want to hear a fart joke. What the heck, sleepy joke? I thought you were gone to do presidential matters. Guys, I will deal with this son of a bitch. I have a lightsaber and feel fucking powerful. Selena, don't rush them. Get to us. I have a better idea. Let's build walls. It will offer protection to us. Walls are so great. Mmm. I really love walls. And I love telling funny fart jokes. Please listen to my joke. Please. This is why I don't play build mode. Donald starts getting weird with walls, and Joe, well, Joe is just plain old Joe. Selena, ditch the walls. We need to get the high ground. Wait, Joe, I just made a Star Wars joke, and you did not laugh. He stormed out the room. I think he is really sad about no one listening to his fart joke. Guys, did you know he has an empty container that says Joe's secret fart? He is definitely eccentric. Selena, that secret fart container should remain in the hidden vaults. Why did he take it out? That fart doesn't belong to Joe Biden. It belongs to the other Joe. What other Joe? Joe Mama! <laughs> oh my God, I'm so hilarious. Obama, I got her twice. Guys, over here, he is by me. Oh my God, why are my hands sweating? Ew. It's because you're getting into the game, Selena. You did really good considering you are a noob at Fortnite. Did you know that your hands sweat when you play Fortnite because your brain thinks you're in a life or death situation? It's true. Back in the caveman days, our ancestors would get sweaty palms when they were about to engage in hand-to-hand -hand combat. 
And now when you drop into a game of Fortnite, your primitive brain is convinced that you're about to face off against a fierce opponent. My hand sweats when Brad, the school bully, takes my lunch money. He's really scary. I pushed them into the storm, guys. Selena, you pushed me too. Shit, no, it's okay. I will survive. I always do. Sorry, Barack. Guys, I am really enjoying this. I think the last game I played with you was Overwatch 2. Video games are great. Yes, one of them died in the storm. One guy left. Let's ruin this motherfucker's day and get a victory royal. I am so ready to ruin a kid's day of fun. He is building walls. I used to watch that blue-haired guy build on Fortnite. Ninja was his name. Is he still around? Hmm. I am better than Ninja. Boom! Did you see that kill? I am the greatest! Ah! Uh -huh. Okay, so maybe I'm not the greatest. That honor goes to all the viewers of this video. Thanks for watching. It means a lot. If you like this content, why not consider subscribing?